Hello, and thanks for tuning in. In this review, I'm going to be taking a look at my favorite John Waters film. And now, Crybaby. Johnny Depp stars as the titular Crybaby Walker, a leader of a juvenile delinquent gang in 1950s Baltimore known as Drapes. He's trying to woo a girl from the square clique, however, the prim and proper rich kids. The rest of the film is made up of zany madcap culture clashes between the two groups. While it can be seen as a parody of other films in the genre, notably Grease, Rebel Without a Cause, and even Jailhouse Rock, it's never a full-on spoof and stands as its own original piece. The movie does a really good job at never sacrificing its generally rebellious tone, while also adding sleazy elements and remaining charming. It's worth noting that it is a musical, and I guess it's about time for me to just come out and say it. I guess I'm a fan of musicals. What are you gonna do? Well, that said, the music in this musical is actually tolerable. 1950s rock and roll was about the last time that pop music wasn't complete garbage. With that said, I would never put any of these songs on outside of the context of the film. All of the acting performances across the board are pretty solid. Yes, even Ricky Lake. This was Waters' first major studio film, and as such, he got to work with some bigger named actors, and they did a damn good job. Fun fact, at one point in time, Tom Cruise, Robert Downey Jr., and even Jim Carrey were slated to star. Depp eventually won the role with his teen heartthrob status at the time. It starts a bit slow, but the pace quickly picks up. There are a few moments, most notably in the third act, where things feel a bit rushed. But if you know me, I'm never going to complain a film is too short. Also, a few of the musical numbers go on for a bit too long for my taste, but it's definitely not a deal breaker. The film is never overly jokey, and in fact, that makes the jokes work a lot better. However, it's not afraid to go completely over the top when the moment calls for it. It looks great, with a really bright, crisp picture and some excellent production value. Definitely one of the better looking films in Waters' catalog. One quick side note, if you are a fan of this film, I would urge you to stick with the DVD copy over the Blu-ray, as the Blu-ray only got a PG-13 release, and it's got the beeps. In closing, it seems that almost every time I watch this film, I like it a little bit more than the previous time. I had a pretty tough time of finding things to be critical about in this review, and truth be told, they are just minor nitpicks. It's got a story pretty much anyone can relate to, and it's also a zany madcap look at one of America's most revered times, the 50s. Regardless of if you've seen it before or not, you should absolutely pay Crybaby a revisit, because it's worth a watch.